everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Here I am on a very overcast day. My neighbors are burning something. I really hope that's not their house. I don't think it is. They're just burning stuff in their yard. Way to go, city life. Anyway, welcome. It's great to have you here today. It's good to be here. I just sent my husband away for a few days. I mean, I didn't send him away, but I'm just here home with my son and got all this time to make cards and get crafty and get prepared for Stamp Timber, which is coming. Cannot wait. But today we're going to make a card. Let me pop into the comments here. I see Kay and Lancashire Lass. I see Casey in California. How you doing out there? Wendy Jackson. Yeah, Casey, it's strange. We Because we have, well, not really a dry climate, because it's humid, I guess you can burn stuff in your backyard. I don't do it unless it's a Christmas tree, and we don't do that anymore either, although we do still have our Christmas tree. Anyway, welcome everyone. Glad to have you here today for this live. I see Bobby popping in, Silver Granny, a lot of the cast of usuals. I appreciate that. And if this is your first time with me live, I'm Kathy Zilski and I go live every Wednesday and this is a little bit different than when I premiere a video and I'm typing in the comments here. It's fully live. I am crafting without a net and things can go wrong. Eh, anyone? There's no one here. Um, but if let's say you're watching and it gets all fuzzy or doopy or gloopy, just, you know, quit your browser, come back in. Sometimes that will solve all the problems. Just want you to know that. And well, I guess it's Time to stop chatting and get into get into the craft today because here's the thing. I just want to do some stamping. Well, I'm going to do some other things, but stamping. Let me show you what I've got today. And it's a set I've worked with before. All right, we're coming down to the table. So this is my Beachy Keen Stamps. Love this set, right? Super fun. And I want to do more with it because I haven't done enough with it. And also, here, here's the thing. I started making cards in 2017, right? So... To me, stamping is still pretty new. And you know, what happens is, I think when you start making cards in this modern era, you jump in, you wanna do all the things, right? And I feel like sometimes I have sidestepped just basic stamping. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have an idea, right? With these stamps, I've got a couple inks and I'm going with a cool side of the rainbow palette, okay? Super basic, but cool side of the rainbow because I have an idea for an encouragement card for a friend of mine. And there's that. Also, again, seeing people join in. Hey, Gigi girl. Well, thank you. I like my channel too. Got people over in the UK. Don's logging in. Tiffany O'Grady. Yeah, you know. Oh, Trish, say hi to my, uh, my folks. They live in Las Vegas. True story. Well, they live in Henderson. I might use this folder today too. I have a plan. I have a plan. Well, yeah, I have a plan in my mind. So let's clear out some space right now because I, I got, oh, and these. I think I'm gonna use these. All right. Oh, hey, Sylvia, good to see you. You leave such nice comments here on the channel. Appreciate that. I don't know if you know this, but I, but I do read them all. Every single one of them. And they are all, by and large, pretty darn nice. All right. I don't really like to give a lot of attention to the ones that aren't, you know? Ah, because, you know, what are you going to do? All right, we're going to start with some stamping. And I actually have to work in, well, I'm not going to say in stages, but what I'm doing today is going to require some stages. And so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that folder is, uh, look at that, Spellbinders 3D Embossing. Now I have my focus locked here so that when I bring my hand up, it doesn't go out of focus. See that? I'm trying to, I'm trying to minimize your... Uh, your, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the visual something. And yes, Kathy Paper, we are live. We are completely live. That's what I do on Wednesdays. And I have to be honest with you, someone, someone watched an older, uh, design chat that I did. And um, I thought it was funny because she's like, oh, bless your heart. You just talk too much. I think you need, I need, you need to reevaluate. I don't even know. It wasn't mean, but I'm like, honey, this is the show. This is it's just what it is. It's a live stream, you know? They're not supposed to be fancy. Okay, well, I mean, they can be. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get this friend in the view, okay? And I'm going to stamp a few things at once. Now, I have not even used 
the flip flops. So I, I guess I'll do those at the same time. I need to do a few things. So we're gonna we're gonna get this. I think I have enough space if I do it like this. Yeah, I should. I'm gonna stamp some things and make a thing. And yes, Kathleen, that's right. How many people out there have ever seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show? I'd love to see a show of hands in the comments if you have seen Rocky Horror, because one of my, I have to prime this a little so. And I'm not gonna rush myself, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna rush myself. In fact, while I'm uh, look, waiting for your comments, I'm gonna bump the air conditioning in my house down one more degree, because right now, mom's too hot. Okay, and I don't mean, you know, hot to trot, I just mean my, <laughs> Personal temperature has gone up through the roof. Okay, so you guys know about Rocky Horror, right? Okay, it's, well, it's just one of those weird movies, but one of my favorite lines from Rocky Horror, and I think about it all the time when I'm live or whatever, is when they go to see the show, they go to see Rocky Horror, it's Ralph Garcia and the girl, and I can't think of her name, and someone yells up to the guy who is the MC, and he's like... <laughs> get on with the show and he shouts down this is the show and he swears and if you don't like it you can go catch it in staten island or something like that anyway that is what i think of every time when someone happens to catch a live and then they're like you need to get on with the show it's like honey this is the show okay we're gonna start with lilac now my colors are cool and we're using simon positively saturated um, oh, Linda Gorman, that's hilarious. Yeah, if I could have a custom plate, let me tell you. All right. We're going to stamp this down to get started. So I've got my, my little Debbie tool here. Also, welcome to everyone just joining. We are live. We are live and anything can happen. And oftentimes, well, not anything can happen. I mean, I, I, I also... <laughs> need to give the caveat a, a finished card may not ensue and that would be okay you know if uh, if that happens you know, what are you gonna do it might happen all right that is our first little images okay now I've oh this is soaking wet I've got a really clean um, tidy towel which I prepped for this but it is literally <laughs> dripping wet so I'm gonna make sure to kind of dry this up a little all right all right here we go. Thank you, Sue. Uh, I wish more people. <laughs> I try to remind my husband of that. You know, people like me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we've got this in place, and now I'm going to go. Let's go up a little, because I want. I'm trying to get as much out of my cardstock as I can. That's probably good. But here's the deal. I will use tape for this. Uh, Susan, I never threw toast, but we did bring in a newspaper. We, when I saw, I saw Rocky Horror for the first time in Seattle in probably 1983. And oh my gosh, my bestie, uh, Molly, I have two besties. One is Tara, one is Molly. And, uh, we thought we were the coolest kids in Seattle. We weren't from Seattle, so keep that in mind. So we brought some rice and, uh, we brought a newspaper, so that, that's how we participated. And then we were really scared because we were downtown Seattle. Thank you, Denise. Appreciate that. I did this many today. I'm going kind of for a dark fallish look. And it's kind of cool. All right. Now back to crafting. Uh, did you know that the Misty changed how I think about stamping? I, I wouldn't be here today without this tool. That's not hyperbole. I really believe that because of this, I have the ability to stamp. And uh, you know what? Oh, and I also have the ability to throw my pad on the ground. It has changed my life. Changed my life. And for the better. For the better. Uh, well, you know, it took me a long time to get cool, friends. But it happens, you know? You stay with it. You work hard. This, I, I need to, I feel like I should go wring this out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take, oh my gosh, it's so wet. Hold on a second. These are the things I don't think to prepare. I'm going to take my stamp chamois and just squeeze it. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. What the, what the beep? Yeah, there was a little bit of water in there. All right, we're going to, we're going to calm down. We're going to, we're going to dry it out. You know, um, 
Well, this isn't really microfiber, is it? It's, well, I get, see, that's where I get confused. I feel like microfiber cloths are different, if that makes sense. I'm drying this off now. Because it's, it is, it's just, it's like a, it's like one of those things you clean your car with. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, yeah. Oh, you know what we're going to do here? How about this? Is that going to be enough? No, we got to come down. I'm just going to flip it this way. Now, this might not seem like the most, well, shoot. Never mind. Just ignore me. I'm just, just working it out amongst, that's what we're going to do. I am taping this. Yeah, chamois. It's like a chamois. A chamois. <laughs> how many of you, how many of you pronounced chamois every time you saw the spelling of that? Because I did. Um, another true story, because you know I got a lot of them. There was a store in e, uh, the Galleria in Edina, Minnesota. How many, how many, how many friends from Edina do we have today? Well, I used to work in Edina, Minnesota. By the way, this is Seafoam. For many, many years, I worked at a trade association of collectors. That's how I honed my craft as a graphic designer. That is a true story. But there was a store inside uh, the Galleria. Oh my gosh, I just did blue again. That's okay. I wasn't thinking. Talk, Kathy. You sure are supposed to do green. Anyway, there was, a, there was a store called Epitome. And that's all well and good. But all the years I worked there, every time I went to the Galleria, I thought it was called Epitome. <laughs> figure it out. Okay, we're going to go through a lot of cardstock today. Setting you aside. Next, we're bringing in more of this. And I'm using Nina Solar White Classic Crest in the 110 pound because you know what? Why not? All right. Also, welcome people who have just joined. Hey, Haley. Pip, pip. Wait, what was that? Um, pip, pip, doodly do. How many people remember that from Josh and Drake? Oh my gosh, I miss having that age of kids that would watch those shows. I guess I could watch. I literally watched SpongeBob SquarePants the other day by myself. My, oh, I could have done that, Sue. But you know, we're, we need we need all these extras because we might need more than I think we need. Oh, this is Sprout, by the way. I watched SpongeBob the other day by myself and. Uh, my husband walked in and he said, are you watching Spongebob? And I said, yes, I am. He's like, cool. Oh, I love Spongebob. Okay. There we go. And there we go. All right. So I think I will do something else here. Let me wipe this off again. Again, this thing is so damp. Maybe I'll use the little part that's not. All right. Oh Michelle, I don't want you, I don't want you to get fired out there. You know, don't don't want you to get busted for watching craft stuff. Okay, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to do one more purple. Okay. So let's get you up here. This is one of those cards that I think is gonna have a lot of setup. <laughs> Hopefully. I can't guarantee the payoff. Let's be real. Uh, I just, I think I just saw someone said there's a uh, SpongeBob on Broadway. That's, that's fantastic. I've never seen Hamilton, but maybe someday I'll get to see SpongeBob. <laughs> the thing about SpongeBob is I never thought it was funny. I, and I, I too, someone said they couldn't deal with the sound. I thought it was the most absolutely annoying show when my, when my kids first started watching it. And then one night, and uh, forgive me. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Okay, that had too much water on it. Dang it, Kath, you are, you are going to town. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wring this out in a garbage bag. Hold on here. There is just too much water in here. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys should see how much is coming out. Okay, we're gonna get back to it. Anyway, friend of mine, dear friend of mine, was over. My kids are little, <clears throat> and <laughs> he's. They're watching SpongeBob and I'm just annoyed because I think SpongeBob is super annoying. And he is in with my kids laughing his head off. And I'm like, why are you, what are you doing? And he said, Do you, are you not seeing what I'm seeing? I'm like, I, this isn't funny. He goes, Kathy, watch. And it was the one where, where SpongeBob is, uh, I gotta keep going, where he's, 
There we go. Where he's piloting the boat with the cap with the pirate captain and or maybe Patrick, I don't know who it, but he just kept saying, "You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good." While they were scraping off the side of the boat, please tell me you've seen it. I Ever since then, I became hooked. I thought, oh my gosh, this is a show that's hilarious, and I had no idea. All right, I really wanted that to be purple, so we're just getting a little out of hand here. It's going to be fine. Oh my gosh, you guys, too many, too many stories. Not enough time. All right. If I have to stamp more, I will, because here's the thing. Uh, paper, paper is in my soul. All right. And, and I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Maybe too much talk about SpongeBob. I don't know. It does have a lot of humor that goes over the little one's heads, and that is kind of one of the things I love. All right, we are prepping a lot here, and I sure hope, again, I hope there's a payoff. All right, I'm double stamping too, just because I like the impression that I get with the double stamp, right? Yeah, I need to back away from the blue. Holy crap. All right. Coming down and press. All right. <laughs> Great. So now I'm going to move on to one more image, and that is my popsicle. Popsicle should go pretty quickly because I'm just going to flip it. Now, these stamps all have outlines to them, but here's the thing. And I will tell you, I'll tell you what I've learned. If you go to stamp right away with the positively saturated with another ink that's supposed to overlay it, that is not your best plan. The reason why is you might get a little feathering with the inks. And that is not what we want here. I really want to have my crisp little over stamp, the outline, to not feather. But these inks have a higher viscosity which is why they blend so butterliciously. But that also means if I were to go right in with the overprint, the little outlines, which you'll see in a little minute, it might not be the best stamped impression. It, it will feather a little. So I'm gonna let these dry a little bit before moving on to the other stamping part. All right. Here we go. Yes, I think SpongeBob at his core is very sweet, and I I love him. I'm a I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right, I'm gonna wipe off my purple, and I'm gonna dry this stamp a little before I pop it down. Oh, I wish I was uh, eating ice cream right now, but that's probably been part of my problem lately. There's a ice cream brand that I absolutely love, and now it's it's escaping me. It's gelato, actually. It'll come to me, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. Okay, we're just stamping. You don't even really, oh, that slipped a little. Hope it doesn't, hope it still lines up. You don't need the press tool when you're just doing little little friends like that, right? It's pretty cute. Um, let's flip it. Flip it good. <laughs> okay, coming in there and here, all right. Getting it down. Also, if you're new here, just want to say welcome. <laughs> hey, Emma's here. Thank you, Emma, for being here. Emma's my moderator. Emma will pop out those, those horrible people that pop in with no good intentions. All right, I'm going to leave this right here for a second. I feel like I need just a little bit more. So let's, uh, we're getting, we're getting a lot of pieces here. See this? This is a lot of stamping. And we're done. No, I'm just kidding. We're not done yet. But I do need to not... Where did I put that piece of card stuff? Let's see. Oh, I used a piece. Hold on. I got to cut a piece of card stuff. Well, we're going to stamp first. Then we're going to cut. Then we're going to emboss. Now we need to do uh, blue. So, cool tones. Let's get a couple blues in here. Here we go. Uh, I guess I'll just slide it up a little. Hopefully it won't move. I don't think it will move. Mm -hmm. And 
bring it in. <laughs> yeah. I'm a new wave girl at my at my soul and my core. All right. I'm going to do one more just in case I need it, although that might not be enough. So let's uh let's come down here. I'm not wasting paper. I'm hedging my bets. That's how we like to look at it. All right. Yeah, it's going to be fine. What is the brand of ice cream? It's a uh, can't It'll come to me or it won't. Okay, so we have all these things right now. Like I said, before I get out my ink to stamp, I'm just gonna set them aside so they have a chance to fully dry. So let's get this out of the way. I'm gonna put them over by the Gemini cam proof. There they are. They're just gonna sit there and, and dry. Yeah, it's not Blue Bunny. It's like a, it's small. There's, yes, Katie. Katie Mullen, you win. It's Talenti. I love Talenti. Specifically, the Madagascar uh, vanilla. So good. Okay, now I'm going to take this out for now. And I'm going to bring in, I think, because I need it. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. And the handle just fell off. Does that ever happen to you when you're cutting and then all of a sudden, you, it's just like, I always feel like it's super shocking. All right, let's, well, I guess that's as far as we can go. I need to cut a little more cardstock. So I'm gonna go grab some, cause I, I ran out. And what I'm gonna do is get another piece of Nina Solar White Classic Crest from my big cabinet. Oh, come on now which is across the room. So that is why I have to get up and move. All right. Now I'm going to trim this. Let's get my mouse out of the way. Talenti. Yeah. The sorbet with the Roman, is it Roman raspberry? Oh my gosh. It's so good. Okay. I am going to cut a panel for a card base. If I decide to use it, I haven't decided because I have, I have an idea. And now I'm going to cut a small USA 2 panel. Okay. That looks pretty good. Okay. And now I'm going to trim this down. So let's go to four inches by five and a quarter. That way it, on camera, it always looks like it's off, but it's, it's the way the um, iPhone reads it. And I always see that when I, on playback and I think, no, that was right, because look at that's, yep, yeah, okay, that's the one I need. Now, set you there, move this out of the way, and we are going to bring in the Spellbinders, because I do not know, I don't know how to emboss on my Gemini, and I keep trying, and I keep not figuring it out. Hey, look, there's my face. Okay. Let me grab all the plates that I need because I'm not 100% sure which ones I need because I bought the universal system. Now, I'm going to change my focus here. There we go. Are we focusing? Yes, we are. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. Oh, hey, Joan. Nice to see you here. Carrie. Robin. Okay. Now, I am going to take this piece of cardstock and I am going to emboss this 3D corrugated folder because I think it's cool. I've been wanting to use it. I just kind of love this kind of thick, cool, you know, vibe that it's got going on. But let's pull everything out so that I can read the platform for 3D embossing. So we need the platform base. We need... Oh, I grabbed, I didn't grab the right plate. We need plate. Oh, I need the D adapter plate. Let's see if I have that. Do I have it? Oh, yes, I do. There you are. Okay. I need adapter plate D. I need my folder. And I need to put uh, this inside. So I'm going to try to get it as straight as I can because I do think this is one of those instances where it is going to make a difference on how you place it in. So, here we go. Open this up. You guys are having quite the conversation about ice cream. Are you talking about um, Ben and Jerry's, perhaps? Because my hubby, he 
he's so funny. He um he always gets the chocolate chip with cookie. I don't even know. I don't I don't love that. Let's see how are we gonna go there. Is that straight? I think we're straight enough. Let's just give it a whirl. So put this here. Put the adapter plate, which is D on top. I'm trying not to let it slide. Okay. Pull the whole apparatus over here and let's go through. Yep. Well, it's going. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hey, Penny. Okay. I'm going to go all the way through so I don't knock my camera out. All right. And let's see what happens. All right. Wait till you see this texture. I think it's going to be great. Open sesame. And <laughs> look at that. Look at it's like a piece of cork. Oh, what's that? It's just a piece of plastic. How fun is that? I love, I love, love, love texture like this. I think that's very cool. Am I going to use this? I don't know. But now that everything's dry, I'm going to get this out of the way. On my other pieces, it's time to stamp some more. All right. <laughs> so yeah, check it out. He gives you this cool, you know, cork. it's hard to see right now with the light but it's there and it's it's a texture sensation okay now it's time to bring these pieces back in flip it around and let's, let's go at the top this time just for you know just for something different i'm gonna have to move this a few times i probably should do this freehand but i don't want to so i'm not going to although i could it would be faster oh <laughs> but since when am I about speed? You know, everything's too fast, right? I don't know. Oh, it totally reminds me of that crimping thing. Oh, gosh, totally. And I did have one of those. I got to get over this a little bit. I had one of those as a scrapbooker because everyone did as a scrapbooker. We thought they were the coolest things ever. Now, I don't know how well I'm going to do this. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we're going we're gonna to do our best. This is a first for me with the shoes, so let's, I mean, that looks pretty good, right? Gosh, I hope I have clearance for my dies. Clearance, we have clearance, okay. I am going to stamp now, and this is a little inspired by Barbara Terrio. I don't know if Barbara's watching, but she is amazing. Uh, her cards blow my mind. I want her to have a YouTube channel like yesterday, and I will, Remember, Emma, if you remind me to put Barbara's Instagram down, because if you don't know her, she's just fantastic. We are not embossing, but I am stamping this in gray. Rather than do a black outline, I'm going to do it in gray. And it is going to be aligned, and that's, um, that's going to be okay. But we're doing it in gray. Now, here's why I need them to dry, because now... Let's see, that's kind of a mess. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I wanted this in gray, not black. Because I wanted something a little gentler, if you will. Okay, so there's a little overlap there. That's okay, or a little offset. I'm gonna wipe this down. And I'm gonna have to reposition because I didn't really know how to use my mitt. Like if I would have just flipped each paper, I guess I could have done this on smaller pieces of cardstock for uh, like a flip flip, easy flip, if that makes sense. Oh, but there you go, okay. Oh, is that what got us talking about um, ice cream popsicles? All right, let's see, good enough, doesn't it be great? We're making a pattern, uh, a die cut pattern. <laughs> it's, 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 you know, this is the kind of video that if you if you were doing it and you weren't live, you you uh you would edit the heck out of this. All right, coming down. Let's see how we did there. Eh, still not getting lined up on the hat. I, and again, it's gonna be fine. Third time might just be a charm. And yeah, the, the offset's cute. I just don't know how the offset works with the dies um, because I, I haven't really, I mean, I made a really cute card with this, with a, a pattern, that was really fun, um, where I stamped a pattern on the back 
and made a panel. But this, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be a little different. All right. Okay, moving on down, moving on down. Okay, and we're going to line fire this time. Eh. And thongs. <laughs> Flip flops. I uh. Flip-flops do remind me of swim team. They remind me of all my years on the swim team. There weren't a ton of years on the swim team. Trust me, I I, I could have, uh, well, I, I could have been a better swimmer. And that's not true. I, were, I wasn't that good. But that is what it reminds me of. Now, you can see here, and I'll show you as soon as I finish stamping this first round. I should have done some of these off camera. But where's the fun in that, you know? The ink won't feather over the other inks because we let it dry just ever so slightly. So that is why, that is why we did that, okay? So see, now we have nice, no feathering, nice clean stamping. We're moving on. So let's bring in this friend. I guess we gotta do these. So it is a little tedious, right? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna go upside down. That's that's uh <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Okay, well I guess it was gonna have to happen anyway. Here we go. I've got ink on my fingers now and I can see where I'm transferring it. All right. Alright, let's get you lined up again. We're just making some elements and then we're gonna cut out so many things and we're gonna build things up. Hmm, I'm not sure where my ink is coming from. Did I mention the color that I'm stamping with is called Earl? Because it is Earl. Okay. And okay, for me, again, this is kind of stuff that I skipped over. Like I skipped over just basic stamping, right? I know that we're always trying to learn new techniques and do things that are really cool, but I feel like I just didn't get enough basic stamping. And so, that was my thinking today, right? You just get, you know, you're just gonna get all these basics. And that, my friends, is what I want. Let's see what happens if I go upside down. What about that? That might be good. Oh, I can feel that air conditioning. Somewhere there's ink on me, but that, you know. How many of you are the type of crafters that you just get ink on everything when you're creating? Um, Tiffany, I could, if I had, if I had, I didn't line, like I wouldn't, I could have, yes. But unfortunately, I kept moving my, car, my card in a, I didn't measure it. If I had measured it, maybe. But you know, that's okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going for it. Earl Grey tea is delicious. I'm with you there. Okay. I've got some hats. I've got some of these. I think I don't need extra purple flip-flops, although, well, we'll see. If I need them, I'll do them. We're moving on to, oh, because I have another extra set here. Okay, here we're going to do, uh, now this I think I can do and flip, so this will be fun. Check it out. I've, <laughs> this is anyone just logging in this would be like one of those nature documentaries that's so slow moving and then notice how the lioness takes care of her cubs notice how the middle-aged crafter works carefully to not get ink on her paper <laughs> okay here's the funny thing about when you look up in a live stream and you see a thumbs down just going to fly across the screen. Oh, God, I love people. Okay. Hey, you, you can't help it because it, it literally goes across my monitor like this. <laughs> oh, okay. Prime up. Prime up. Yeah, yeah. There you go. It's just floating across the screen. Just one lone thumbs down. Kathy, you suck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, yeah, because here's what's going to happen. Um, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. You know, sawdust, it could be a mistake, or it could be intentional as the day is long, and that's okay. 
You know that song, Different Strokes for Different Folks? Well, I think we know it's true. Now, if I take this off, okay, let's get this out of the way. I'm gonna flip, I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna be good. Because now, we're gonna go like this. At least I'll get one, right? Because check it out, right? That should be perfect, okay? Oh, now, no, well, maybe it's gone, I don't know. <laughs> You know, it's fine. But I, I, I don't know what I was watching recently. Well, I was watching something on YouTube. I was watching something on the Think Media channel. Some speaker was talking, and they were talking about how you have to be you um, on your channel. If you're creating a YouTube channel, you have to be you. Um, because you can't do anybody else better than you. Do you know what I mean? And it's interesting, because I... I, I, I I mostly do me. The only thing I don't do on this channel is swear prolifically. That would be that would be very much me, but that's me in private life, and I just made a choice years ago to not do that. Plus, it would change the ads that would run on my channel, so I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna go down that path. But you can only do you, right? And you are an acquired taste. You're not for everyone. You know that, right? We all know that at some part of our core. Look at this, it's all come together. But it's really important to remind yourself, nobody nobody can do a better you than you. So be you, you know? Embrace who you are, because that is a thing. Oh, Joan, I was raised, I was raised by sailors. God, I love my parents. They, um, they're both still alive. And they just, they weren't like hardcore swearers. Oh, hey, Beth, Bethany, good to see ya. Um, they weren't hardcore swearers, but they had their words, you know. They didn't say, you know, really bad swear words, like me and my entire family. But they definitely, you know, they definitely had the edge that was needed. And, uh, well, I learned a lot. Okay, I think I do need my blue popsicles, and then we're almost ready to start cutting and making our card. Thank you for liking my show. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Um, I've had this piece of tape stuck to me the whole time, and you know what? At this point, it's too late to get rid of it. So I'm going to bring this back out. I probably could stay up these free range, but, you know, again, it's fine. But yes, it's, uh, you know, you're not for everyone. One of the beautiful things about YouTube, and I really believe this, is, okay, maybe there's icky stuff out there and whatever, but YouTube is, is a... Uh, it is an example of the democratization of publishing and content creation, right? You can, if you have an idea, you can make a video. If you want to have your own channel, you can have your own channel. Um, and, you know, none of us know everything when we're starting out. I certainly still don't. I'm still struggling with what's the best audio? What's the best camera? What's the best lighting? Is it okay if I'm just in here in the craft slash dining room, right? But YouTube is a place that you can bring what you love to other people. And it is just so fun. I don't know. I, I, I taught online classes in scrapbooking for years, but I didn't realize that this, well, I guess we'll just, I didn't realize that this would be so fun. You know, I didn't. Well, thank you, Lori. This is, well, now let's see. Isn't that like it's brownish red color? Dazzle Dry. Dazzle Dry Radiant. And that is a new brand. Well, it's not new now. I've been wearing Dazzle Dry for four months. And uh, I love it. I'm kind of obsessed. And yeah, I. Uh, it's a different nail polish. It's, it's expensive, though. It is $22, $24 a bottle, but which is pricey. <laughs> Uh, but you, they intend for you to use every last drop. You get this system, and they include in the system thinner drops that are designed to work with your polish. But the other thing is it doesn't have nitrocellulose. Nitrocellulose is in most nail polishes. It's not a bad ingredient in and of itself, but a lot of people feel that that is the cause of yellow stains on your nails. Not the, it's not the pigment in the polish. If that were the case, every time you wore a blue polish, you would have blue nails, and that isn't the case. So I've been learning a lot about nails, and that is something that I 
um, I've been experimenting with this brand, although it is expensive and I am not an affiliate. <laughs> I wish I was, they don't have an affiliate program, but if you shop with my link, I get free polish. You know what? I'm, I'm no fool. I know that is, uh, you know, that that's what we're looking for in the world. Okay, so let me take a let me take a sip of the LaCroix. Mm. How's everyone doing out there? Am I out? Oh my gosh, I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> it is so dark out. Let's go back to the table. Okay. Mm. I don't do the little inset headshot anymore because I kind of think I don't I don't need to see my face that much. You're already hearing my voice. Hey Dora, Dora's here. Um uh, and you know the face is fine it's, it's it needs a break let's start doing some die cutting i have a lot to cut so we're gonna go over to the die cut cam and hopefully let's clear out a path because right now there is literally no path get out of here tissue paper microphone microphone there you go get up there like that okay uh we're gonna do some cutting now, I don't know if you noticed this, but I changed my plate. I changed my plate. I'm very excited to have a fresh plate. And this is what I do. All right, we're going to tape some things down. I'm going to grab just a little here because these are very easy to frame out. I don't, I'm not too worried if they're not perfect. Um, I can see these pretty easily. And, but I've never done the flip-flop, so let's see that. Gemini cam's coming. It's coming. I think, is that going to work? Yes, I got it just under the, under the edge there. All right. Probably good enough. And tape. So, let's move over to the Gemini cam. All right. I tried to put a little more light over here today because I think sometimes it can be hard. I'm going to cut a bunch of things here. So, you know, if you... You know, if you want to get up and go take a break, maybe, you know, go for it. Because this is one of those things. Bop, bop. Oh, it's so cute. I've never cut these out. Isn't that cute? All right, that's what we're doing. That's the goal. What time is it? 3.43, oh girl, we gotta get a move on. Now, right now I can't see your comments because I know music. <laughs> Hope Mario doesn't sue me. I don't know why I sang that one. It just came to my, came to my mind. Love Mario Brothers. Actually, uh, I have fond memories about that game. My hubby and I used to play it. Uh, we bought ourselves a Nintendo in 1991 when I began shacking up with him all those years ago. <sighs> hey, Michelle Knits for you. This is from a set that I designed for Simon Says Stamp called Beachy Keen. It's just fun with some two-step stamping images. So there's those guys. We're putting them over on a table. We're going to keep stamping or keep cutting. Uh, yeah, it's a set that I've had for a while, and I've really enjoyed it. And I've really enjoyed seeing what, uh, I'm kind of out of the camera here, but what other people are doing with this set. Uh, and who I mentioned earlier, Barbara Tarayo, who is such an amazing card maker. Um, she made some really cute stuff with this. But yes, it's been very fun. It's one of the fun things about designing products like this is getting to see what people do because you you might do something that someone else would you'd never consider kelly person hey kelly oh my goodness kelly i wish i would have been able to be in ohio and see you this week uh there was a Simon Says Stamp kickoff party, and I, well, I didn't go. I was having some, I didn't want to fly. <laughs> just too much anxiety over being on a plane. I just, I said, I can't do it. I can't. Here we go. We'll just flick that over there. Okay. We're still cutting. We're still cutting. And this one, ooh, no, we're good. 
Very good. Yes, Callie, I put my, I've got a Gemini cam and now I've got my regular table. So this is all very exciting. I don't know how exciting it is to watch someone do what I'm doing, however, so I should have some better stories. But right now, you know, I may, I may have run out. Well, I don't think I, I no one's going to run out. Hey, Def Shelty mom. Good to see you here, too. Um, okay. So you can see one of the things I think I've mentioned this in past videos, but I have started designing my dies with a slightly more generous framing because I don't, I don't like to guess. Oh, I guess I should flip this. There we go. And it just makes them a little easier to line up. And I don't mind having a little extra uh, white around my image. I think it's kind of cool. I think that's, oh, come on now. Did I, oh, there we go, okay. Again, we're just creating a stack over here. This is, this is getting a little wild. Oh, and this too, okay. I think I have enough. I, and I have extras, right? So if I, if I need more, well, you know what? You know what they say, we'll cut more. But uh, I like the generous framing of the pieces. All right, get out of here, get out of here. Okay. Welcome to the Die Cut Olympics. Our first contestant, uh, created by Zoe. So the what I'm sh filming with this right here is not an Archon. Oh, this is a uh, old Manfrotto tripod that has an extender arm. Um, the mount that I have my uh, other camera in, they're both iPhones. So I film, I film with an iPhone. This is not um, high-end science which is why this is another thing if you if you think gosh i'd like to share videos on youtube well guess what if you have a fancy smartphone with a decent camera you can uh but to answer the question the one that my phone is in is in the archon mount i was trying another mount and it just it just wouldn't work it was just vibrating all the time and so I went back to my Archon, although I feel that that's mildly problematic because anyone who follows social media controversies, there was some controversy with Archon. And so I stopped promoting their content. And I don't know where that all stands, but it was kind of icky. And yeah, they, were, they weren't being, one person in their company was not being, he was being untoward. So they still make good products. Um, I just, you know, every now and then you got to stand for something, right? And I just thought that's, I, I'm not going to promote something that I don't uh, believe in their uh, personal poly or their personal harassment issues. It's a long story. Oh, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Okay. So now here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I have more popsicles. Oh gosh, I forgot to do my blue ones. Hold on. Oh my goodness. We're gonna, I was gonna make an envelope today and uh, I don't, I, I don't think I'm gonna have time. Although, I, yeah, Callie, I think you might, you know what I'm talking about. He just said really tacky things about a woman on a live stream and you don't comment on women's bodies in public ever. It's not okay. Um, it's not okay. <laughs> so that's what it was all about. And it was, you know, it just, a lot of content creators said, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use your products until this dude's gone. Okay, I'm coming back for a few more. Uh, notice too how the cuts are here. I'm cutting into the same plate. I learned this from Jennifer. I will have her clip. It's a timestamp clip that takes you right to Jennifer's video where she talks about this. It is a setup that has changed my life. Oh, thank you, Melissa. I had fun making that. I might not need all the blue, but you know what? This is this is a lot of setup. Remind me <laughs> next time to do a little pre-work. Uh, I like that. Let's get that guy there. All right. I don't think I'm going to cut the last one. I'm going to roll the dice that I won't need it. 
But you can see how easy these are to cut out, right? So easy. Flip. And of course, this rotating design board, life changing. Hey, Mary. Nice to, oh, nice to have you here. We're just plowing along. I'd like to say we're wrapping it up soon, but that is that would be that would be incorrect. Okay, coming back over to my table. And oh my goodness, the sweat. I tell you, I have I have this uh I have flop sweat. I get so nervous when I'm live and it's weird because I'm not nervous. Like I'm not, but my body is. It's so strange. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I need to make a plan, Stan. And the first thing I need to do is I'm going to start out by, oh, Kathy, is this going to work? Well, we're going to see. I am going to take some foam tape, and we are going to put some on the back. Yeah, that turntable, I actually, um, yeah, Kelly, it's so weird. Like, I'm not nervous, but my body apparently is. Okay, we want that side down. The turntable, I reshared my reel with it because it's my most watched reel. <laughs> Curse you, Instagram. I don't want to make reels, but the turntable is is uh, is wonderful, and it has a big clip on it, but you just take the clip off, and I think it would be great for what it's intended for, which is to put your artwork, right, if you're painting or drawing, and to be able to spin your board around, which I think is really cool. Oh yeah, Mary, aren't they great? You know, do you know where I learned about this from? I'm pretty sure it was the Hedgehog Hollow when I first started making cards and I saw that she had one and I thought that is what I need. Cause Jennifer McGuire had something and I couldn't find it cause she's, I think she said it wasn't made anymore. All right, now uh, I think we might do a gray card base but here's here's what i'm thinking i'm still oh, see now i cut way too many i need to figure out a pattern and i want this pattern to be kind of random do i not have a green oh my gosh i'm sorry we have to cut out one more thing i need a green hat dang it okay. this is crazy are you hanging in today oh it a salt cellar it's this thing. I have it linked below. It's called the Chef and Dash. It's literally a salt cellar, right? It has a little gap so your salt doesn't, but guess what it's perfect for? Your stamp chamois, okay? So great because they don't get as smelly. I mean, they're still gonna get smelly. No, nothing's gonna ever take that completely away. But, oh, come on now, get out. there you go. Taping it. Back to the die cut cam. We're running out of space for things here. Sorry, I didn't realize that uh, <laughs> I had one more thing to cut. Get in there. All right, should be fine. Oh, nope. There we go. This plate setup is amazing. I have very little warpage with it. And I mean, I'll show you. Hold on here. Hold on here. Check this out. I have been using the same clear plates for weeks, weeks, and look at that. There's not a warp in it. It's it's Jennifer, and I actually should tell Jennifer, you should make a reel so people know, because I'm never going to take credit for figuring it out. I tell you, that girl, okay, she knows, she knows a thing or two. So what I want to do is have a pattern of some sort of flip-flops and popsicles and I don't know if this is this is not my forte okay uh <laughs> but I oh table cam okay you know what else isn't my forte knowing when to switch cameras I want to have I don't like upside down hats though that just that just does not feel good to me um I want to make a pattern and I want to have them mildly popped up, right? Nothing heroic, just basic. Um, do I have green flips here? Oh, I think I need green flips. See, this is where the comp the complications come in. But I want to make a pattern. So that's what we're doing. And yeah, if Jennifer just make like Jennifer has a whole video on plates. It is amazing. I learned so much. And that's where I learned this from. And I thought, you know what? 
I'm going to try this and I will never, I will never look back because let's go back to the die cut cam. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so many things. So little time because of the plates, the plates. And I flip them every time I run it through, if I remember. And look at that. My foam tape even fits under here. No problem. So great. That is not where I store my foam tape, but did I stay lined up? Okay. So I'm trying to avoid having too many things in the same location, right? This is, uh, I don't want, I think green popsicle should be there. Maybe one upside down. I have to figure, <laughs> table cam, sorry guys. Okay, let's zoom in a little. I know this is a long one, although Christina has gone, I've seen her go long sometimes, right? I don't want this to be too busy. I want it to be just busy enough. I don't like that there. I do think that could be there because for my greeting, I am going to have just a really simple uh, sentiment strip, but I got to figure out how to make this cute. What if I did put one upside down? I don't know. I don't know. We're working it. Let's put maybe flips right in the center. You know what they say? They actually say, and by they, kind of mean Gina K. If you start in the center and build out, it's actually easier. So you know what? Let's try that. Let's try that. Kind of start in the center and build out from there. Now here, here's the thing. <laughs> this is not easy, right? I feel like there are people out there who are so good at knowing, right, how to arrange something like this. But I do want to have some connection between the elements, right? But yeah, this is probably better if I work my way out like this, okay? Mm, but I don't want to have gr blue and green together, but you know what, it's probably fine. I'm gonna get our shoes here. A little friend here. No, not green. Yeah, well, Tim goes long because Tim, he's got he's got some things to share. You know, that isn't, uh, well, that's no surprise there. You know what? I think we're going to go green. So that is, you know, that's that. I totally get that with Tim's videos. Maybe one like that, and maybe I will hang off. Ooh, maybe a blue. Nope, purple. You could do this all day. In fact, I might be here all day and that's okay. If that happens, so be it. We'll, we're gonna get an arrangement that is pleasing to the eye and possibly to the uh, senses, maybe. Okay, we're still going. <laughs> How does Barbara Chirayo do this so masterfully? We'll be cutting things off too, so don't, don't worry. Things shall be cut. Let's get another guy here. Look at that. Okay, I just need to take a break. <laughs> it's very stressful. One of the things that I am not confident in, I'm confident in a lot of things, but arranging stuff like this. Let's get the power of liqueur. Mm. Okay, I'm going back, keeping it real. All right. Uh, I think we are close because I want some of these things to be cut off and I will be cutting them off and that could be a big hot mess when I do it, but you know what? It's going to be good. Okay. Um, here I could do, I, I think we're going to just start to stop thinking Well, we're already upside down. I'm starting to see the hats as spaceships and I don't think that's the intention, but um, no, I don't like that. Okay. Now here's the, here's the wild, here's the wild part. I need to grab some foam squares. These are the new Simon Says Stamp foam squares. Now, if this doesn't look good, does this look good? Gina, does it look good, babe? Okay. There is going to be booping too. That's what, that's what's so funny is we are going to do it, but here's what's going to happen. This is beautiful. I'm going to take foam squares. These are kind of thicker and I hope they work on this corrugated, but I feel like they're going to be fine. 
and we're gonna just start placing these down. We gotta, we gotta just go for it. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no rest for the wicked. Boop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually get my tweezers out for this. Yeah, <laughs> these are spaceships from the planet middle-aged sun hat. Oh gosh. All right. And actually, Jules not tools. You, your Manny's not going to take care of itself. You know what I'm saying? Friends, if you want, you know, if you want that Manny to stick around, don't use your nails for things. Okay, let's just go like, should I, should I have it? Well, oh, was this one? No, this one's not upside down. I need it to be more like that. Yep. Okay. Like that. Don't overthink it. Oh, stick into the nail. Oh gosh, this is a this is a commitment. Now look at me. I'm just taking them off with my fingers because I don't. Well, no, I can't do it. Hmm. Yeah, if I were gonna try to edit this down, and I have decided on live streams, we're just gonna let them go. I'm just gonna let it go because the the whole point of a live stream is to chat, to make, right? Just to do it. Just do it. You're just doing it. And so, right? Go big or go home. That is, that is, well, is that my motto? I don't, I don't know if that is my motto. I don't have a motto. I mean, I had a motto when I was in scrapbooking. It was, uh, it was uh, crap free, crap free scrapbooking, uh, which was not an oxymoron. And I thought that was really funny. Uh, but in card making, I, you know, I don't, I don't have a motto. Maybe the motto is just boop, you know, just boop. Oh, wait, was I coming in with these? I think I was. Okay, let's see. I'm coming in like that. Gosh, I hope this looks good when all is said and done. But you know, <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. I still got a few people watching, so that's great. <laughs> How many of you did watch Gina's, uh, yeah, I am home, right? Go big or go home. Crap, I guess I have to stop. Um, how many of you watched Gina's release party last night? I was on watching the whole time in my jammies in bed. It was super fun. Mm, love, loved it. Loved it. And uh, it was, I love when Gina sends me something to play with too because she's pretty awesome like that. She's pretty awesome in general. Uh, now, I am going to be trimming these off with big scissors instead of my trimmer because I was watching Gina, or Jennifer, the other day. Jennifer had an awesome video, and I just loved that she just took her scissors out and just cut. This is also a little inspired by Jennifer's recent video because didn't she do something where she, yeah, she, Lila did the intro and she had all this, um, these cute little dogs this is also inspired by that i should have mentioned that see jennifer gets into my my subconscious <laughs> she stays there and that's not a bad thing if i could channel just a little bit of her big brain well it wouldn't be a bad thing all right like i said are we gonna nail the landing on this we could uh oh emma did you not see it it's um what is the theme of the kit autumn I think I cut and stamped way more than I needed but that's okay it's autumn but also Gina just introduced brand new inks and yes I I am a sucker for Gina's ink I did buy the um they're still in their plastic the last trio that she released I purchased uh both the cubes and the full size I haven't taken the full size out yet but they're still in plastic I have a whole pile of things that I've purchased that are still in plastic. I want to make sure I don't mind that we've got green and green. It's kind of, it's kind of hard, right? How are we going to, should I flip that like that though? What if I did it like that? I just don't want to trap any white space, you know, and make things look awkward. Did it get awkward? Did my life just get awkward? I don't want to make it awkward. All right, I'll just stick these on. I'm going through these foam squares. Wait, which way was I going? No, this one was upside down, right? Use. Okay, I think we're fine. Okay. 
Everyone's still with me. I haven't done much singing today. And that's okay. Sometimes, you know, wait. Okay, it is flipped. And I think I just want to go, I want this to be more like that. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. I think, I think this is going to be a finished card when all said and done. Mm hmm. I don't have any songs about beaches. I mean, the only, the only song I have about beaches. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Thank you. Um, no, we're gonna go like that. So see, there's there's some awkward spacing, but we're gonna we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it work. I I can't guarantee that. All right, so this one goes this way. Beaches, so sad. Maya Bialik, so great. Wasn't she great in that movie as a little Bette Midler? Oh, love her so much. Okay, we are putting the last one on. We are gonna angle it like. Yeah, I think we're okay. Like that okay now keep in mind i do plan i plan some booping so these are extras that we didn't need now we're moving into the good stuff oh, moving into the good stuff oh do you know what i did buy last night my friends and uh i watched it two nights ago i bought it i did buy my own copy digitally of spinal tap this is spinal tap and i enjoyed every single minute of it okay we're gonna do some trimming i think this is gonna work now <laughs> Okay, I saw Jennifer do it. I can do it. Because if you go with the big scissors, oh yeah, it's so easy. She's so smart, okay? You can go real hard with them. You know, like you don't have to be timid. You just butt it up on the side and cut. Oh, yes. I'm so happy right now. Okay, let's just do... These are great, by the way. And I, I've had mine so long, they're the red handled. Oh, that's what I wanted. That is what I wanted, my friends. Look at our dimension. Look at that. What? Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Now, here's where we have to make a decision. And I'm going to ask for your decision help because I pulled some cardstock. I actually think that this would be really cute on smoke. Okay, well, I just pulled out way too much. What if I did this not on white, but on smoke? Huh? It's a done deal. I already know. I know in my gut this is right. So uh, let me put a piece aside. And let's come in here. Boy, that, I mean, again, I don't do... A lot of cards like this you know like where you do a bunch of little pieces and you stamp a bunch of little pieces and then you um you, you know I don't and I I just I think because sometimes it feels a little fussy but yet I love the uh I love the result you know what I mean so let's take our smoke cardstock and it, it's a nice pickup with the Earl ink. All right, I'm gonna, well, I'm a little zoomed in, but let's just cut this real quick. Four and a quarter. And it is lined up and cut. All right. Pop you down there and here. Let me get my, and I'll do my greeting too in a second. Um, the greeting's gonna be the piece de resistance because. I like a minimal greeting when you have a lot going on. So let's go ahead and score at five and a half. We're making a USA2 top folder. Classic, easy, breezy, and peasy. All right, like that. Nice press. You know, I'm gonna take this tape off now. I think it's been, I think we've had it. Oh no, you know what it was? I was just waiting for this moment. Put it in. Oh gosh, that was what it was there for. Although you don't really need it with this cardstock. Okay, 
So let's see, we got that little margin. Oh, yes. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Do I need to cut a little of that one off? No, I don't think so. I think it's fine. All right, here's what we're going to do. Take it off this. I'm going to try something that I never do. Oh, Mary, well, that's the goal. Just to get you to want to make something. It doesn't have to be this card, and that's just it. Do you have any stamp sets? I'm going to use some liquid glue because I don't want to mess this up. Uh, do you have any stamp sets like this? Because if you do, you know, you could... You can take little elements like this, repeat them. Do you have a stencil? Or if you don't have a 3D embossing folder, you could take a stencil, right, to create this sort of background look. I just thought the corrugated, you know, it just adds a little extra, right? And I'm nothing if not extra. Okay, I'm gonna stand up here, look over the top, and I think we're gonna be good. Like that, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, this is making me so happy. Okay, for our greeting, this is what we're gonna do. I wanna, I think, oh, I just poked myself in the chest. That did not feel good. Okay, I want to use one of my Chill Summer Reverse. And I, I thought in my mind this would be an encouragement card. And there was one that I wanted to do. I wanted to do Hope Things Are Sunnier Soon. But I I may have to cut it apart. I don't know yet because that might be too long, but that is the greeting that I want. Uh, I'm just double checking. Let's make the most of it. See, see, some of these things you can do, you know, all kinds of things. You, it doesn't have to be beach related, right? But sending sunshine, sending lots of love, sending sunshine would be cute, but I'm going to do hope things are sunnier soon because I have a person in mind for this. You know, when you think of your friends who are struggling uh, and having a hard time, well, sometimes we need a little help. Colleen, I have a lot. Yeah. So I, I, I could talk about this for a second. These are the stamp and storage. I don't have them linked. Um, Emma, if you can remind me to link these. Um, I bought a set of these for my most used uh, dies and I keep them in a little basket. Um, this is new. I'll show, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Let me show you this. This is the basket. So I have this basket of the things I use the most. Well, I don't use, you know, it's kind of like basics, right? nesting circles, nesting hearts. I keep it and it literally says most used. <laughs> so that's how I know. Um, otherwise, if it, you know, I would forget. But so I buy them there. That way they're not in plastic. They're not like hard to get to. They're totally good to go. And I'm, yeah, I'm ready to roll. And I love them. So this is probably my most used die set if I were, you know, if I were a gambling woman, let's straighten down my camera here a little. We, we're getting a little wild. Um, this would probably come out as one that I use more than any other. All right. So tape. You'll see now I could have used that tape. I do tape these into place because uh, you can keep using these with these sentiment labels. You're going to be totally fine to take the pieces apart and put them back in the pocket, which I love. And I also like them because they're so crisp and so white and black and you're not going to mess up, you know? It's not that I don't like to stamp and emboss. I do, but sometimes, you know, when you're kind of like, I I'm good. <laughs> I I just want to, I, I just want to do this, you know? All right. We're running it through. All right, now this time I'm gonna come back to my table before I forget. Uh, the big scissors, Tim Holtz. Yep, they're Tim Holtz and they're uh, kind of a soft handle. And I think right now, I, I wish I had the black handled ones, but these handles are really squishy, so they're really comfortable. And I just think they are a great all purpose. Believe it or not, I have even done some fussy cutting with those. Um, 
especially things that have super straight lines. They're great. Uh, all right, so we're going with this greeting and we're gonna put this back on here. So we don't, if I lost any of these, I would be very sad, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. And then of course, again, I, I don't have these packets or what are they called? These little Simon pockets linked below, but I will also add those, Emma, if you can remind me, uh, because these are great for your leftover strips. I just keep everything back in. And then anytime I have a subject that I might think, oh, that might, that might work. These are so great, I love them. Okay, you go back over here. It's probably, this is gonna be the longest live stream I've ever done. But I, but I dare to say, uh, I don't know where to put, <laughs> I don't know where to put this tape. It's, uh, well, it's worth it. L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. Okay. I'm gonna do a little trimming, and that's where I bring in this friend, cause she's so tiny, oh, so sweet. I do like this, I didn't, this was the trimmer that I didn't know I needed. You know what other trimmer I think is really cute though, is the uh, We Are Memory Keepers one. I see Gina K use it a lot. Um, I see Bethany from Bethadilly use it a lot, and uh, I wonder, is it just like a really great little trimmer? because, you know, trimmers are a thing. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I mean, oh, come on. Come on, that is right where it needs to be. Okay, let me grab my Copic T10 because what I want here is to take my Copic marker, right, and just color on the side. And the reason we do this, you don't have to do it, but these are printed on white cardstock, so they have a white core, right? And that's how we create a reverse. A reverse is a design term, and it just means where the type is, there is no ink. You know what I mean? Uh, so there's that. Oh, Haley, so funny. I mix media and me. Now, never say never. <laughs> but that is, I mean, this is me being creative, okay? Mixed media scares the absolute crap out of me. I love to see other people do it. Like, uh, oh, there's so many good people, like Juicy Christians on Instagram. And I will also link her. Emma, remind me Juicy Christians. She does such beautiful mixed media with uh, Tim Holtz's stuff. And oh my gosh, I love it. But it's just not, not really in my wheelhouse. Okay, I'm going to grab a strip. And I'm gonna cut enough of a strip. See, here's where these are even, well, you can use these for everything. I use them sometimes for like, let's go, we need a little, little bit there and a little bit there, okay? Let's see if I can remember what side these go on before I do it, yep. Flip it. I don't need it to go all the way across, but we're gonna go like this. I just am not confident with mixed media. Um, but when you see it done well, it's amazing. In fact, there was a woman um, who get, took over my Instagram. We did a Pass the Brush event. And if you look down in some of my reels, um, Let's Design Creative, she took over and shared her uh, pre-made, she makes these, you can purchase them, her scrapbooks and journals. They're like next level. Like I couldn't come up to do, I couldn't figure out that if my life depended on it. But if you Go to my Instagram and swoop down through my reels. You'll see a whole series she did um, where she took over my account. It was a very, very cool event. Um, Let's Design Creative, loved that whole experience. All right, let's, let's add it. We are getting there. I do have one other thing in mind. I'm not gonna be doing a, an envelope because I don't really even have cardstock to match. That's the thing that's so weird is that I don't have cute pattern paper anymore. I just kept giving it away, oh wait, no, to Dan and having him take it to school. And like now I have like nothing. I have like nothing. I mean, I have very little, but we're just putting a little of our liquid glue. And I think I'm gonna bring this in in case, I don't think I need it though. Well, you'd never say never. Let's line this up right on that edge, like right here. That's what I want. And then you're gonna drop it down. 
Oh, I think we slipped. Now I will bring this in because I want to make sure. I mean, I've gone this far, right? Doesn't Forrest say that? Well, I figured I'd gone this far. Now, <gasps> look at that. Really fun, huh? You have texture, you have so much going on. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the thing. I have something in the wings, but I feel like this is just too much if I do this, but I gotta show you it anyway. Bring in my boot my boot pan. And I have this color called Moonstone. It is so amazing. Look at how it was kind of made for something like this. It literally picks up kind of all of the green and the purple and you can even get blue in here but I don't I don't know it might not be needed but let's just take a look okay sometimes you don't know until you start filling in some of the open spaces that are bugging the crap out of you right well they're not bugging you know maybe not you but they might be bothering me and I don't oh yeah I think this might be working what do you think do we boop the moonstone? Gina seems to be all in on it. I might be because there are nice little open spaces for these little friends. Um, hmm. It's kind of, kind of fun, actually. Now I feel much calmer now that I've put sequins down. And I'm kind of mixing up the, size, the sizes. I just placed an order yesterday with this Calls for Confetti. It is like the best joy to get all these things and spend like 14 bucks. Confetti is a really good bang for your buck. Okay. Um, oh, well, let's do a medium one there. I'm trying to mix up the sizes, but I like it. I think this is fun. Maybe one more tiny friend up here like that. And you actually need to be a medium. Okay. You know what? We're going to do it. It's just, we're going to boop it up. <laughs> and again, I know you're not toddlers or pets. Ay, the people, not you guys. That's a whole story. Okay. I don't know how this is going to work though, because we've got some dimension on the corrugation. Oh, are you not coming out? Oh, there you go. Boop. Okay. I got to concentrate. Boop. I'm trying. Let's just use the corrugation. Oh, there we go. Boop. See, this one does need to kind of split, but how about if it boop, just holds one side. Oh my gosh, I love this. Boop. So again, shout out to Jennifer McGuire and Barbara Chirayo, who really inspired this card. Boop. Because, boop, they did. Actually, let's go up a little higher. Okay, so there's a little extra goose, but that is going to, that's going to, that's going to dry. Oh, I got to clean off my, hold on a second. We're getting a little, we're getting a little mucked up. That, my friends, my crafty, crafty YouTube friends, that is the finished card project. And I don't know, you know, that is a, that is a lot. There's so much happening here. So let's, uh, let's, let's mass produce this one, shall we? But see that? So there's a little extra glue here. Some of them have to kind of set. Do you know what I mean? Oh, and I have to thank Lila. Yep, Linda, got to thank Lila too. So I'll be sure to link Jennifer's most recent video where she did with all the animals and, uh, and again, Barbara Torrio's uh, Instagram. But give me some time. Sometimes after I finish a live, it, it takes me a little while to recover from from the experience. Oh, I'm so, it's so dark. Hold on. Let me see if I can get my camera a little brighter. Oh my goodness. Anything? No. Crazy. It's so dull. Uh, well, anyway, here I am in the dark. I just look like this dark little circle. Hello. Uh, does anyone have any questions for me? before we wrap up our live stream today. I really appreciate you hanging in there with me because, I mean, you know, there was, uh, let's see if I can zoom that in. iPhone 2 zooming, like that, there we go. There we go. Um, yeah, that was a lot. Now, here's the thing, I don't have any, I don't have anything in the hopper yet, 
of meaning I don't have anything planned for uh, the next few days, but there is going to be so much filming for September and oh my goodness gracious, there's a lot coming and I have a lot happening and I'm very excited about it all. So I want to thank you all for joining me and thank you for watching when I go live. Thank you for participating in the chat. Um, if you have any questions, you know, after the video, be sure to drop them, you know, down, down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and you have not subscribed to my channel. I would love to have you. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I seriously, like I'm looking here. Oh, iPhone 2 cam link. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. A little brighter. That's just weird. It's so dark. I think we are about to have a storm. And I do have a, I have a, I have a, what are they called? A ring light, but I'm not, I'm not bringing that down. That thing's crazy. Anyway, so, uh, Judy, September begins on September 1st. Um, so you'll have to, you know, subscribe to Simon's Stamps newsletter, um, because we're going to do the Simon release for the first two days and then we're going to go, we're going to go all in. And I can't wait because I might be getting a box today. And uh, my lips are sealed. My lips are sealed. I already have one box and it's just, gonna, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a madhouse. And I'm super excited about it all because it just, it's a time where for me as a creator and a content creator, it challenges me to make some stuff every day. And I, yeah, do things and work with stamp sets that I wouldn't even think that I would be good with. It just, it, I find it very freeing. So Thank you so much for watching. Again, be sure to hit the thumbs up if you liked this video and the time we spent together. I know it was a lot, but I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. It's so dark in here. I really am not this dark. Thanks for watching. I want you all to have a great day and I will see you back here with another card project real soon. Bye everyone. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.